and gentlemen, KJ here, and I am back with another episode of Madden 25. Bears are out to an amazing start this year. 4-0 total. We've been averaging about 20 points per game. Came away with another victory last game, 21-14 over the Kansas City Chiefs. Of course, Steven Jackson again carried us on his back, 188 yards, two touchdowns on the game. Kaepernick, not so much. Two interceptions once again. Interception numbers are now greater than the touchdown numbers, so... Um, really would like to turn that around, but... I guess the one way we can turn that around is just keep running the ball with Jackson and make him carry the load for us, you know? Today, we start the division games. As you can see, we are facing off against the... Detroit Lions, we are at home. We faced them once in the preseason already, so we kind of know what we're going to get. They are, however, are the second place team in the NFC North. As you can see, they are 2-2. Two and two. Vikings and Packers are not doing good this year. 1-3. and three. Very surprised about the Packers. They're usually always good, and Palmer isn't that bad. They've just had a very steep drop-off for some reason. Hopefully, though, we won't have a drop-off in this episode as we compete against the Lions. We're at home. Don't want to lose our first game at home. Come on. You can't do that, man. You can't do that. So it will be a fun one. It is, I believe, a Thursday night game, so it will be a nighttime atmosphere we will be having. Should be a lot of fun here in Soldier Field. All right, Soldier Field. Thursday night football. Ready to go here. Pretty warm night. 64 degrees. Can't... Can't complain about that. Oh, it must be, uh, it must be, what, October? We must have started the month of October here. Yeah, 4 in September, and we've started October. All right. I can tell because everyone's wearing pink, so it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month here. Bears have won the toss. We're going to receive. We always do that when we win the toss. Usually works out pretty well for us. I do have to say that it's pretty cool that they put into the game that in October... The colors get swapped out to pink, a lot of them. Like you can see the fans, the different parts of the uniforms. Really cool that they do that. Really, really cool. Very short kick there as Rinald will now bring it up. Very good return there, although he got like twisted around. That is not the way that your leg is supposed to bend, but we'll go with it. Colin Kaepernick will take over. At the 32-yard line for the Bears. You know what we're going to start with? Good old-fashioned run play. That's what we always start with, man. We always start with it. We do so good with the run game. I like to get it started early here, man. Eh. Four-yard gain. Not the best we could probably do, but not the worst either. Let's take a look at the Bears starting offense. All right, yeah, it's third and two. Really like to pick this up and keep it going. Don't want to go three and out here in the first possession of the game. And we won't get it. Wow, man, wow. Fourth and two. As that is very surprising. My controller is like going schizo right now on me. Okay, this is not cool, man. Not cool. So we are going to be forced to punt. First time that we've been forced to punt. Been gone three and out here. Be into the back of the end zone and touch back to the 20 yard line. Stafford's now coming out. Pretty similar to Kaepernick. More interceptions than touchdowns. I really want to just get on him to begin with, man. Woodhead, though, takes the carry. Gains six yards on it. Isn't that good, man? We need to. We need to do what they did to us. We need to make them go th three and out here. Come on. I'm 
going to kind of just exclusively try and blitz Stafford because I know that when you put him under pressure, Stafford doesn't respond very well. He really doesn't respond well to pe pressure, although that one he did really well with. 13-yard pickup by M Millard. I'm really hoping this isn't going to be a first loss at home against the Lions, really. That would be bad. Couldn't get the run game going, though, man. Got stood up. Three runs, three and out. It's not the way that we usually operate. Usually we're busting through for big ones. There you go. There's a big one. There's a big stop. I believe that was, yeah, that was Nadalakin Sue. Plays, used to play for the Lions. Currently plays for the Dolphins. Well, I had the option to take him. It's a big defensive pres presence. I said, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Did not pass up on him. Despite his off the ball, you know, antics. He's still a very good pass rusher. There's a good outlet pass there to King. Won't go anywhere as number 33 there takes him down. I believe that would be a no gain on this play. No, he might have actually lost a yard. Third and 13 now. Now is when we stop. Oh, almost had Stafford there. Almost had him, but instead, he chucks it long and it goes incomplete. Fourth down. Good job by the Bears. Getting into the backfield, getting some pressure, making him chuck it right there at the end, and two guys surrounding the ball. Knocks it away and forces them to punt. We'll go back to the run here, but I don't know if that's going to work. Got stood up three times last drive, so... See, they're playing a little bit deep with their coverage, which allows them to come in when they see we're going to run. That gives them speed and momentum to try and stop us. Not a good situation right now. Five yards gained in that one. Which is better than our first drive, I guess. We only gained four in the first one there, so... We might have to start going to the air kind of open up some running lanes here. Might as well start then, right? Greg Olsen! Olsen! It was right there and he didn't grab it! Oh, crap. Third and five, I have no idea what to do now. It's going to be another three and out. Damn, really? Offense, you got you got to do something here, man. Oh, great. Pope is one of those guys. I can't give it to Pope. Pope doesn't know what he's doing. Hitting up Escobar would be great. Marshall's going to be covered. Nope. Oh, God, really? Third and out again? Oh my god, can't get anything going. Try running it, three and out. Run it again, only five yards gained. Then we pass, two straight passes, and they're, they're incompletes. They're right on the man's numbers, and they're incompletes. Dude, I don't know what else to do in this situation. I should really start, like, angling my kicks with the punt, but... Man, two straight, three and outs. Offense is not on game tonight. Not on game whatsoever. And if we give the Lions too many opportunities, they're going to eventually capitalize. Can they... We took the opening kick, so we don't even get that to start things in the second here. Three yard gain on that one. Oh man, I'm I'm not liking this right now. This is, this is not looking good. Lions now have a third and seven. Trying to do something 
in this situation get a first down empty backfield five receivers out to Bo and he gets the first down that's it's very bad defense very very bad defense I don't know how you leave that guy open like that he's probably their best receiver with a long third down that's it's no excuse for that Little then gets the reception we're not getting any pressure on Stafford right now he just easily is making the throws Blitz everyone. I just want everyone to come in blitzing. There you go. That's what I wanted. Two yard loss as Bowman gets the tackle. There were like four guys coming in at that one. Look at this again. Whoa. Dude just got taken out. Four guys all right there taking him out. I love it. That's what we need. We need you guys to do that more often. We're doing our type of a blitz here. Come on, almost got him, King. Fourth and one, just short. Just short, that's what I like to see. Oh, that was a close one, too. Very, very close. If that was me, I would seriously be considering going for it on fourth down. I've done it. I've done it before. Don't know if I would do it today, because offense does not seem to be working very well today, but, you know. I think it said 17-yard gain that time. All right, let's see if we can do something this time, right, man? Yeah, maybe, please, hopefully. I don't know. Be great if you could. Be really great if you could do something, man. Uh, we're going to pass it to start things off. Why not? Run game hasn't done anything. Pass it really hasn't either, but... Maybe. You never know. Over the middle, Alshon Jeffrey just gets tripped up. He could have gotten the first down, but he get tripped up there. All right, well, at least second and two, we can maybe get a first down out of this one. Let's try running it now. It's second and two. We should be able to pick this up, okay? Usually Jackson can pick these things up, but... All right, there you go. There you go. That was a rush that we're usually used to. Picking up the first down, Jackson doing what he does. Maybe it was just a slow start. Maybe it was just a slow start. We'll try the run again here. Keep with it. Keep with the run. See if we can do nothing with it. Nothing with it. They're just overpowering us with the run. Oh, my God, man. Guys, you got you to do something more than that, man. Greg Olson gets the reception, two-minute warning, and a first down at the 40. Okay. Um, what do we want to do? We'll try something a little bit different, I guess. I don't know if this is a good play or not. We'll try it. I think this is the first time I've tried this play, so... Yeah. Bunch formation. We usually don't use the bunch formation. I really don't like it. They sometimes get a little bit clogged up trying to do stuff. Alshon Jeffrey left wide open. Oh, did he get in? He did! Oh, wow, that was beautiful. Oh, that was beautiful. I'm surprised they counted that. That was close. That was very, very close. I'm not going to complain, but that was very, very close. Oh, wow. Look at Jeffrey. Wide open in the center of the field. Found a little hole there. And then just run it in. Run it in and push your way in. Yeah, I think the ball got over. I don't think he 
himself was down until the ball got over. Very, very close one. But it counts. And I'm perfectly fine with it counting right now. Perfectly fine with this. Touchdown for the Bears. Kaepernick throwing it. And Jeffries receiving it. Two receptions, 48 yards. All right. Finally get on the board. With 1.49 left, Bears get on the board. 7-0 over Detroit. However, they have a chance to score now. And they do get the opening kickoff of the second half. So, not the best situation we're in right now. Could really use a stop on defense here again. We do not want them to go into halftime tied because, again, they do get the opening half kickoff. So... Don't want him to have any momentum. No momento. Looking like a blitz. We do have one man coming in, so... Little gets it. Come on, you gotta take him down. You gotta take him down. There you go. Second and one. Hurry up offense. Hurry up offense by the lines. Reset, reset. Oh, he's getting so fumble, fumble, fumble. We did not recover it. That's what Stafford does. He fumbles things. Put pressure on him. He doesn't know what to do. Like again, right now. Oh, that time is good. Chucking it. Oh, no, it fell incomplete. He dropped it? Oh, he dropped it. Man, that could have been a big one for them there. But instead, drops it. Fourth and eleven. Because it was an incomplete pass, time has stopped, so it's 111 left. Bears all three timeouts. We have an opportunity here. Barring a Kaepernick interception, we do have an opportunity to gain some more points before halftime. Get up to the 47 yard line with a minute three left. All right. Let's see what we can do. Saying a two minute drill, it's a, it's a one minute drill. Oh my god, really? Second and 20 now. This is not good. It's really not good. Good win. Good win. Oh my god, you drop every pass I throw to you. I've tried to throw to Goodwin to passes almost every game and he drops them all. And that's not one that I need you to drop, okay? You need to make that. You need to get some yardage on that play. Oh, my God. That's just inexcusable, man. Goodwin has just been total crap for me this year. I don't even think he was that good last year either. I can't throw to Goodwin. Marshall intercepted. I'm done. I'm done. What, what can I do? Goodwin drops a well-placed ball. Just completely drops it. Just like, no, I don't want this reception anymore. Just throws it down on the ground, and then Kaepernick goes back and throws a pick on the next one. Why? Because you didn't catch the first one. We wouldn't be in this interception situation if Goodwin would have caught the first one. Now they have time to try and get points before the halftime. It's, it's just sickening. The offense hasn't been producing today at all. But it's just sickening when something like this happens then on top of it. Defense might be our only chance right now. If they could get a pick six, that could be our only chance. And 33 almost tried it there. But I just need them to really follow through too. Because that would really, really help. Because the offense really, really sucks. Twenty-seven seconds left, second and ten. Stafford back to throw, gets hit as he does. Hits his man. Timeout, third and one. We're just gonna run and go into halftime up by seven. Detroit will get the opening half kickoff, so we're gonna have to hope for the defense to force a stop on that one.
Jackson evading a couple. Gets taken down. And the first half is over. So very, very up and down half. I mean, you know, we we started off horrible. Two, three and outs. Then we get a touchdown thrown by Kaepernick to Jeffrey. And then when we try and get more points, he throws an interception. So not a very good game. Not a very good game so far. We're up, but I'm not I'm not very optimistic right now, so Alright, Bears. Lions ready to start the second half here. Kickoff will go to the Lions. We got the first half kickoff. Which didn't really do much for us. Two straight three and outs by us, so that's 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 gone. <laughs> Touchback starting at the twenty Lions. Get a chance to now try and tie this thing up. We've given them plenty of chances so far today. And again, I said at the beginning, if you give them too many chances, they're going to eventually capitalize. And I just have a feeling that they might this time. They really, really might. Get taken down for after only one yard gain. Williams barely got into tackle, but he did get it. Good job, Gain back there and then luckily getting the tackle so Woodhead only has four yards and five carries not even a yard a carry right now although Jackson has not had a very good game either King gets the reception gets run out of bounds third and six all right we really need you guys man oh it's a corner one it's one of the corner ones gets the reception gets the first down bad defense once again it's becoming a running thing this year. The defense not not stopping them. Third downs and they're not stopping them. I mean, it's third and six. You got a good chance of stopping them, and you let them pick it up. It's not it's not good defense. Not good defense at all. There you go. There's some defense. Finally taking them down. Second and nine. See, you do good on the first down and even the second down, but then the third down, you're just like, nah, let's let's give him another down. Let's get him on that set here. And, and you can't do that. It's 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 kind of it's kind of a no no. No no, don't do that. No no, don't do that. There you go. There you go. Stop him. Stop him. There you go. Woodyard gained a tackle, loss of one. This Woodhead has not been having a good game rushing. At least we get maybe like four or five on the rush today, but Woodhead has not been doing good. Not been very lucky with those ones. So it's third and ten. Another chance for you guys to try to stop him on third down. This is a very long third down, so you really need to stop him. You really need to stop him. Oh, they're measuring that one. They're measuring that one. That's never good. That never turns out good. That never turns out good. That always turns into a first down. Oh, but it's not. It's not. It's short. It's short. It's fourth and inches. It's short. That's good. That is good. Unless they decide to go for it, then it's not good. If they decide to go for it, then it's not good. They're huddled up. They're going to go for it, aren't they? Are they going to go for it? Are they really going to go for it? No, they're not. Okay. Fourth and inches, they're not going to go for it. They're going to punt it. Unless it's a fake punt. Could it be a fake punt? They wouldn't do that, would they? Come on. Okay. All right, here we go. Turn of about 10 yards or so. Maybe 11. And the Bears take over. Looking to the better than we did in the first half with anything. We'll start it off with a run. Because why not? The running game has just been really bad today. Look at that. Eight rushes, 31 yards. 
Usually when he gets up to 10, he's averaging about 8. So today, he's going to be lucky if he's averaging 4. Lions run defense is just outstanding. Got to tip my hat to them. They are they're controlling it right now. They're controlling the number one rushing running back in the NFL. That's no easy task to do. Come on, come on. You got you to stiff arm him, man. Stiff arm. Put the arm out in his face and push him back. He didn't do that, man. Third and one. I'm going to take this probably as a four down set here. If we don't get this, we're going for it on fourth down. If it's, you know, inches or one. Won't have to worry about it. Pick up the first down to the 44. See, look, we're only averaging four yards per carry and barely that. I mean, usually we're averaging about eight. Today has just not been a good one for running the ball. Can go back to the run now, see four yards. Jackson, you should can pick that up easily. Although this has not been a very easy day, so... Oh, has to completely reverse. Go one way, someone's coming at me. Go back the other way and pretty much get back to where we started at. In relative terms, you know. Started close to the left side and we pretty much ended almost to the left side, so... All right, that's that's cool. Won't get back up to the line for another play here. Third quarter is over. It has been a very low-scoring game, seven to nothing. Bears on top of the lines right now. We got the ball. We're trying to march. We really need one more score to kind of seal this thing. Preferably one more touchdown score. That would be the best case scenario. Marshall, I would like to hit up, but they're going to cover him. Ohio, Ohio. <laughs> Greg Olson, he's kind of my go-to guy. Switched him out to slant route. And let him make a play. Third and one. All right, this is, again, one of those situations where I really need you to pick up the first down. Usually Jackson can do this type of thing, but today has... Not been the usual type of day for us, so it's questionable. It's really, really questionable right now. He does get it. Oh, he nearly got back up and kept running. He landed on some bodies, and since no, no part of him hit the ground, he almost got back up and started running again. It's pretty cool. So it's a first down at the 30. We'll go back to the run. That semi worked there, so we can see if it semi works here again. I don't know. You never know. Run, Jackson. Run, 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 run. Get in for the touchdown. Oh, yes, indeed. That is a touchdown on the running game for Steven Jackson. First big yardage run that he's had all day, and it is for a touchdown. Detroit's coach is really pissed about that one. I'm really happy because we have not been doing good today. Not been doing good today at all on the running game. Detroit, I got to tip my hat to them. They have played that running game to perfection, stopping us almost at every turn, making us get very little or no yardage at all. That's the first, again, big yardage gain we've had on the ground. And it's for a touchdown on the ground, so... Pretty happy about that. Didn't waste as much time as I would have liked, but still pretty decent. 14 to nothing, Bears on top. There you go. 81 yards. 81 yards on the day for Jackson. Still might make his 100. Probably won't, but... He's allowed one or two off days, I guess. Kickoff right on the line. He's going to have to take this one. 
he will make it up to the 26 yard line where the Lions will take over this might be a time when they might have to go for onside kicks or even four down situations we're going to have to wait and see here As Stafford and his offense come out in the gun they might just start throwing it all the way here their running game was even worse than ours. Woodhead got very little yardage the entire day. Very big yardage that time. So now will be first down at the 47 yard line. It's up Mil Millard. Almost said Mildred for some reason. I don't know why. But it's Millard. I believe he got a first down there too, or pretty darn close. I will have to wait and see here. Yeah, it's a first down. Man, man, man. You know, this might be a bad idea, but I'm just gonna. Just gonna blitz. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Little gets the reception, gets to the 21 yard line. I don't think they'll take us to the two minute. I think they'll get another one off. I, I can see them getting another one off before the two minute warning here. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna wait 10 seconds here. They're, they're gonna get one off. Motion man, and that usually means that they'll get it off in time. Or not. Oh, they just got it off in time. Just got it off. All right, two-minute warning, second and three at the 14-yard line. Lions looking to get a score here. They're also probably looking to not use their time out so that if they don't recover the onside kick, they can use them on our next drive, like our first three possessions on that drive. Bo won't get in. First and goal. Yeah, they're using a hurry-up instead. Stafford throwing end zone out of bounds. He made the completion, but he was out of bounds. Might have only had one foot in if, if that. So it'll be second down at the four. No timeout is required because it was a thrown pass that was incomplete. So I can't see them running on this. Nearly, nearly gets taken out. Oh, and that is not a touchdown. That is third and goal. He was very close at the one-yard line now. I'm surprised they didn't give that to him. I would have given it to him. I really would have. Stafford hit as he throws. Doesn't matter. That's a touchdown. Got smashed between two defenders there, but still made the reception. I believe, what was that? Was that Little that got it? It might have been. We'll see probably on the drive summary or the replay here. Yeah, that's little. That would be little. So lines have tied have not tied it up, but gotten close to tying it up. 14 to 7 right now with an onside kick coming right here. We really need to recover this one. And then need to put some plays together because they're going to got all three timeouts. They'll try and force us to go three and out. Okay, guys, you got to pick that ball up. Did we not get the ball? Did we not get the ball? We didn't get the ball! Oh, my God. Oh, my good God. Do you know how rare it is to successfully win an onside kick? Do you know how rare it is to lose an onside kick? Well, of course, it's it's been that kind of game, hasn't it, guys? It it's it's just been that kind of game where you're just like, you know, screw winning, man. Winning's overrated. 
Oh, there you go. Hit as he throws. Although I really like to say that was more of a sack than a throw, but whatever. I'm cool with it. It brings up third down. And that was me that was doing it. I rarely do those kind of things, so... When I do, it's an amazing accomplishment. Third and ten. This is a four-down situation here for them. Come on, you gotta stop. You, you gotta. You gotta stop him. You gotta stop him. Hit as he throws again, taking out the receiver. It's actually incomplete because the receiver couldn't hold on to it while he was going to the ground, getting laid out by our defender. All right, guys. One more play and we get the ball back. He's still got three timeouts, so it's still pretty interesting, even if we get the ball back here. And we really need to get the ball back here. Going deep, going long, way too long, way too deep. The defense by Asante Samuels was on point. The receiver had no chance of getting that one. Stafford just way overthrew him. And we got 108 left in this game. Cannot kneel down. We have to do stuff with the ball. And we have to do good stuff with it because they got all three timeouts and they're going to start using them right as soon as we go with this play. It's going to be runs. They know it's going to be runs. And I know they're going to use their timeouts. So, here we go. Almost got taken out there. But in the end, we only gained one yard. Third and seven. I know I need to run. I know I need to run this thing. But I just don't feel like I can pick up seven yards. They know we're going to run. I, I can't pick it up. I'm going pass. This could be the biggest, dumbest thing that I've ever done. But I cannot run it right now. They're all going to blitz in too, so... Barely gets it to Olsen. Olsen can't get the first down. Timeout. Fourth down. Lions still alive. Still going to tie this damn thing up. You serious? I had to get out quickly. I had to get out quickly. I trust Olsen with the ball. He just couldn't, couldn't get it. And we have to punt it away. All right. Um, we're going to try directional punting this time. And see if we can keep them within some yardage here. I think that was good. That was real good. Oh, that was beautiful. Look at that. Five yard line. That is beautiful punting right there. Directional punting. If you can nail that, you can nail it, man. That's great. Five yard line. 50 seconds left. No timeouts for Detroit. Um, would really like a sack. That would be really cool. Oh, goal! Almost got a sack there. Instead, Little gets a big yardage. Oh, my God. We wanted a sack. We wanted a sack in the end zone. Instead, they pick up huge yardage. Instead, they pick up huge yardage. Huge yardage. They need a touchdown, though, to tie the thing, okay? They can't win. They can tie, but they can't win. Oh, this is not good. 33 seconds at the 45-yard line. We need something here. We need something. You could have had him in the end zone. It would have been a safety. It would have been game over at Little. Come on, you guys got to defend a little better than that. He caught the touchdown. He caught the long one. He's catching all of the balls right now. Defend Little for your life. Like your life depended on it. Because your life does depend on it. How's that not an interception? How is that not an interception? Did he just not stay in bounds when he caught it? Oh. Fourth down. Are they going... All out Hail Mary here. They might be. We're defending it like it's a Hail Mary. It is. It is. Oh, it's knocked away. It is knocked away. Oh, God, it's knocked away. Thank you. Thank you. 
a horribly paid game by us will graciously end here in the victory formation. It was a close victory too, if I do say so. We gave Detroit many, many chances. They were unable to capitalize on it. Gotta say that's partly because of Stafford. He's not the best. Although, look who's saying that. The guy who has Kaepernick as his quarterback. Stafford's not the best. Though he played pretty well today. He did toss for a touchdown. No interceptions. Did he? I don't think he had any interceptions. You know, the Bears, we couldn't get our running game on on track. They did a great job. Great job of stopping to run. We finally broke one out there at the end of the game. Longest rushing of the game was for a touchdown. Jackson, great job staying with it. This was a great touchdown, though, by Kaepernick to Jeffrey. Very close touchdown, too, if I do say so. Look at this. Barely gets into there. Barely gets in. I'm surprised they did call it in. Ooh. Was not our day. Was not our day. Look at that. Time of possession. We usually own that, but they had three extra minutes on us. Not our day, but again, we found some some way to win it. I have no idea how, but we did. Take a look at the stats now at the end of the game like we always do. Total offense. Lions had more. 194 compared to 150. Rushing yards for them, only 4 compared to 81 by us. Despite the bad day on the ground, we stopped their ground game and found at least enough for us. They passed it great, though. Stafford, 190 yards through the air compared to 69 for us. Three more first downs by them. Total yardage was more for them. Yeah, we turned it... Yeah, they didn't turn it over. Stafford did not throw an interception. Kaepernick did, but Stafford did not. It's very, very surprising. And again, time of possession. They had three minutes more than us. That's very unusual. Usually we control the time of possession. So you look at the quarterbacks. Kaepernick had a little bit better rating than he has recently. 78.7, but Stafford still had him beat at 90. Threw for, of course, more yardage there. Double the yardage. Both had a pretty good completion rate, 61 and 60. Both had a touchdown, but Kaepernick's one interception really hurt him. Their longs were about the same as well. Um, wrong, wrong button. Wrong button. You look at the rushing game, Jackson. 16 attempts, 83 yards. 5.1 average with a touchdown. That average only got boosted thanks to the touchdown run, which was 30. 30-yarder. Woodhead, only seven attempts, four yards, half a yard per attempt. So really not a good game for them rushing. But through the air, look at that. Little, seven receptions, 107 yards, and one touchdown. We, did, we couldn't stop them. Millard also had five receptions, 47. Couldn't stop him either. When we look just at the Bears receivers, Olsen, 25 yards, 3 receptions, 48 on 2 receptions for Jeffrey, and 1 touchdown, 6 for Marshall. Goodwin dropped the pass once again. Horrible, horrible game for him. Can't drop passes like that. Escobar also dropped a very easy one. A little sloppy. A little sloppy, but somehow, somehow found a way to win it. Somehow found a way to... Still remain undefeated. We are now 5-0 and on the year. So as you can see, even if the Vikings and Packers both win this week, we still have a three-game lead over anyone in our division, which is some really good news. Although we've been gaining less and less points every week. That has not been good news. It was 14-7 to this week. So really would like to get back onto, you know, the 20 plus games. No, first game we had like 28, then it went to 24, 24, then 21, I think. And then this game was 14. 
really would like to see some better performance. All right, we are now ready for week six. We'll play, be playing another division game against the Vikings. We'll be in Minnesota though for that one. They won it last game. So again, Vikings and Lions, three games back from us. Packers are really on a downward spiral. They are one and four now after losing again. All right, next 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 episode, we're gonna have to buckle down and put in some better effort on the offensive side of things, and even a little bit on the defense. I think would be great. Gotta try and limit those turnovers by Kaepernick. But if you enjoyed the game, guys, please go ahead and leave a like as well as any comments you may have down below. Otherwise, I'm KJ, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.